afters between the two of them. Is it to be another disappointing afternoon for Waterford at the semi-final stage? Fourth year in a row they've been here. One victory, and that was against Tipperary back in 2008. Big one down into the forwards again it comes towards Richie Power, and down went Power. And this time he uh, draws his man down as well. Watch it again. You know, Jerry, it's hard to take flaws in this Kilkenny team after winning four all Ireland. But I just think some of their play, when they have time, they're not really playing the ball into the forwards into space. They're hitting big high balls every time, just driving it down the field as far as they can. And, you know, to be fair to the forwards, like Richie Power, they're trying to compete every time in the air of hers. There's loads of space there in front of Richie Hogan, in front of Colin Fenley on the other side, and they're not spraying any ball at all into the corner. So, you know, you'd have to. I know it's worked for them over the years, but I don't think that's going to work, you know, against possibly Tipperary in the All-Ireland final. Well, that's... Uh, and I'm not right now, Dublin now. Of course. Brian Hogan clearing it. Beautifully held. Michael Rice. Very athletically playing it down towards Richie Power once again. Almost got it back, but it comes to Noel Connors instead. Slipping the hand pass out as far as Kevin Moran. Up towards Shane Walsh at full forward, jumping into the air to break it down to himself. Trying to make a better angle. Oof, and he has driven it to the right-hand side of the post as well, and he has yet to score in this game. He's contributed to other scores for some of his colleagues. Yeah, the wrong option again, Ger Morris Shanahan and Seamus Prendergast were standing 10 yards outside and nobody on them, little hand pass out, but, you know, Shane has to score himself, trying to get on the score sheet, and uh, bad wide again. Waterford needing a goal. Kilkenny scoring chances impressive so far, as you can see, 29 created. And they're looking to create a 30th. JJ Delaney didn't get it, however. Malumphy couldn't take it up. Morris Shanahan in the yellow helmet for Waterford. And again, the referee, I think for the third or fourth time in the match now, having to throw the ball in. Michael Fennelly lining up for that throw, but it breaks to Henry Shefflin instead. Just getting it, difficulty getting it up onto a stick there. Thrown back towards Tony Brown. Well, there's only uh, 14, nearly 15 minutes gone in the second half. Still plenty of time as that's hit in by Paddy Hogan. And Paddy, the older of the uh, two Hogan brothers, has put it wide. Ten wides for Kilkenny in this match. From the puck out towards Morris Shanahan. Spills loose towards Noel Hickey. Back to Jackie Terrell. My goodness, they've given some service to Kilkenny over the years. All the way down towards Richie Power. He caught it well. Now playing it back to a colleague. It's Owen Larkin. Quick injection of pace and shortening the grip on the stick and placing it inch perfect between the uprights. Second point for Larkin. Great subtlety in the final approach to that, but the catch by Richie Power was most impressive. Held it and held off the back, dished it off perfectly for Larkin, and he managed to glide it over the crossbar. 2.15 to 1.8. All of a sudden, there's a 10-point gap. Owen Kelly, I think, showing his frustration there with Michael Fennelly, and the referee has uh, the notebook out. It's got to be a free to Waterford. Yellow card for Michael Fennelly. Score of three points. Former captain. Free which Owen Kelly will take from just inside his just inside Kilkenny's 65-meter uh, line. So 60 meters from the target, safely over. Still plenty of time for them if they can manage to get any kind of a run at all going. So it's important that they pick up every scoring opportunity. They had a couple of bad whites, and it's Kelly who's going off, having just scored that, and he will be disappointed. Tommy Ryan, who got a goal at the very end of the Galway match, comes on. Henry Shefflin. And Henry Shefflin looking at it, wondering, but it's gone wide. 2.15 against one goal and nine. 
Yeah, and if a game ever needed a goal, Jarrett needs it now. You know, it's just drifting along in the second half. And Kenny not really putting the boot down. They're just doing enough to know they're, you know, they're nine points up. Just 18 minutes to go, and uh, they don't want to get any injuries or anything like that. So they're just going through the motions at the moment. So you know, it's up to Waterford to get themselves back into this game and put a bit of pressure on Kenny. Richie Foley's come on now for uh, Shane Welch, as that's played out of defence by Noel Connors. So four subs introduced by Waterford now for the second half. Brian Hogan. There's a player on the ground. It's Tony Brown. And Richie Hogan about to be spoken to by the referee. Oh, he hit the ball, Jerry. He went up and um, blocked the ball down perfectly. And just that uh, Tony Brown was between him and the ball, he got a bit of a knock. And I don't normally see Brian Cody getting very animated on the sideline, but he wasn't happy with that decision. Not happy with the decision, but Tony Brown back up onto his feet again. I think that frustrates hurling people. You know, the ball was there, the player came out, won a great ball, tapped it down, and the free is given just because there was a collision. And, and it's, it's very frustrating for players and management when that happens. Frank Cody, of course, today bidding to steer Kid Kenny to an 11th final in 13 years. An amazing term as manager. Tony Brown hits this one in deep, and it's caught in there and caught brilliantly. Out by Jackie Turrell. Comes out as far as Michael Fennelly. On as far as Owen Larkin. Back out as far as Rice. And Michael Rice drops it in, but Clinton Hennessy gets there first. Quick distribution out to Tony Brown. Gives it away. JJ Delaney mopping it up. Henry Shefflin is loose. Inside to Larkin again. Back towards Henry Shefflin. Picking out the perfect pass as he saw it inside towards Richie Power. Power taking off, stopped, and then allowed to go forward again. Colin Fenley. And that one has gone over the bar. Real period of dominance by Kilkenny. Several players involved. Good move, finally rounded off by the 21 year old from Ballyhale Shamrocks, Colin Fenley. Yeah, very good score, and JJ Delaney very involved there. Great catch originally, and then when the ball came back up the field, he won it again, and he's having a fantastic second half, dominating everything. And Tommy Welch, the same with the far side. Tommy Welch back up towards Richie Power again. Richie Hogan ready to raid, but Noel Connors closing the lid on that particular attack, and it's going to be a free out as he was fouled. Taking it up towards John Milan, but reading it was Brian Hogan. Breaks back down once again, this time to Richie Foley, operating in midfield. Seamus Prendergast now, slipping the little hand pass in here. Chance for Malumphy, and Malumphy strikes it over the bar. First point of the match for the team captain. 2.16 to 1.10. Yeah, Jerry, have to question the option again. Look at Morris Shanahan inside her, look. Of course, maybe he didn't get the chance to pass it into Morris, was frustrated, but you'd imagine if he carried it on, they need a goal. Again, it's Shane O'Sullivan from the puck out. Mullard now. Period of dominance all of a sudden for Waterford, maybe. Kevin Moran. Slipping by JJ Delaney. Next is Brian Hogan. On it goes towards Morris Shanahan. Jackie Turrell challenging, and the referee blows his whistle. It'll be a free in from the 20 metre line. Jackie Turrell. Just deciding there was no way through and he wasn't going to allow Morris Shanahan advance another inch and he gets a yellow card, takes the yellow card somewhat cynically for the team there. And the free will be taken at the end of all of this by Morris Shanahan. The two free takers Wallaford had earlier on are now off. Fornick Mahoney first, then Owen Kelly. Morris Shanahan elevating it up and over. So another one back. David Fitzgerald's team behind 216 to 111. Brian Cody's team, he'll be hoping the manager that they just continue to apply the pressure on Waterford, win their share of the duels, and see out the tie. Back again by Michael Brick Welch. Breaks around there, but only as far as Paul Murphy. Brian Hogan breaks it down. Back comes Michael Welch again. And the man they call Brick getting it in as far as John Mullard. 
Showing good vision here to pick out Shane O'Sullivan, trying to tear through, nowhere through immediately. And under-hitting this one, David Herity back out once again. They need to do better than that if they're to pierce the Kilkenny defence. Michael Rice, little block on it there. For credit to Dara Fives. Back in once again it comes. Morris Shanahan jumping, breaking it down himself. Going after Jackie Turrell after him. Awkward angle. Tommy Ryan trying to steal a march there, but failing to do so against Paul Murphy. Murphy's clearance isn't a great one. Straight to Kevin Moore and should be over the bar. And he's missed it, he's driven it wide. Hasn't scored today. Yeah, and Jerry, you know, you'd have to say Waterford after having five, six bad wides in the second half, there's only eight points in it, you know, have a little bit more composure, not clear for them over to be very little in it, because Kilkenny are actually subdued enough in this second half. You know, they probably feel they've enough done, but, you know, they're not playing that well, and, you know, if Waterford taking a few of those chances, there shouldn't be a lot in it. So from the Kilkenny puck out, by the way, after this, you can uh, see the horses over at the Dublin Horse Show, and that's at five minutes to six. Meanwhile, here are the thoroughbreds of Kilkenny with Brian Hogan getting it back to Jackie Turrell. Down towards Brian, uh, towards uh, Richie Hogan, never reached him, reaches Henry Shefflin instead. And another one for the maestro from Ballyhale, nimble as ever, just gets possession there, shows wonderful balance, immense power. Seven for him. Yeah, beautiful point, just took one little step back, leaned, leaned into it and over the bar, great score. Oh, it's a bad hand pass by Jackie Turrell, giving it away there to Malumphy. But Waterford are well back and have a lot of work to do to take it nearer to the Kilkenny goal. And again, it's the ever-willing John Mullan. Oh, well, he was trying to pick out Richie Foley, didn't pick him out, picks out Michael Fenley instead. Henry Shefflin, often wondering, is anybody marking Henry Shefflin? Gets so much possession. Clinton Hennessy from the counter attack. Driven up by Jamie Nagel. Towards Seamus Prendergast. Tommy Welch battling, gets it down. That's enough. Jackie Tyrrell then. Again, Henry Shefflin. Michael Brick Walsh 